so hey you guys this is your girl Les Little and I'm back again with another mother loving video Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year to your family. I wish you nothing but blessings, nothing but everything that your heart desires and everything that you need because everything that you want is not everything that you need. But I definitely do desire everything that you need. I desire success for you, love for you, freaking intelligence, honesty, purity. I send all of that your way you know what i mean because in order for you to grow in order for you to evolve those little things and those little traits start with you this video basically today we're going to be just be talking about giving and not giving to others but giving to yourself you know because you can't help somebody if you can't help yourself the year 2019 i learned that sometimes you have to sacrifice all the time actually you have to sacrifice and 2019 I feel like I sacrificed a lot I sacrificed a lot of my desires I sacrificed a lot of my social life I sacrificed my family moving away far away um, I sacrificed my comfort I sacrificed my time I sacrificed my love I sacrificed a lot <laughs> okay I definitely 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 sacrificed a lot and as you all know if you watch my videos y'all know I'm a cry baby so this is why I hate getting personal with you guys because then I start thinking about all the things I actually really went through and I start crying and it's not crying because I'm sad it's just crying because damn we've been a long way <laughs> um so I'm not crying my eyelashes are actually itchy <laughs> so yeah so I just want you this year guys for you to see clearly I pray that you see clearly and I pray that it takes you to where you need to be and I hope that you find yourself this year if you haven't already um and just just really quickly for those of you who may not know but this last year 2019 around my birthday my birthday is september 25th if you don't know libra gang 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 <laughs> if you're libra i already love you okay just putting that out there libra. so around my birthday is when me we actually came down south for a vacation for my birthday um and i was just going through a lot i just didn't want to be in new york and my birthday my birthday was like you know you want to just go and travel and i was just like it's not far but yeah like let's go i need to detox i need to get away i need to go away so we actually came down here to virginia we stayed for two weeks and i fell in love i fell in love with the atmosphere i fell in love with the air i fell in love with the ability to be calm and quiet and actually think um i fell in love with the, my ability to just go outside and sit down somewhere and then just be calm and just write and i was just like i need this you know new york was just becoming too much for me and the city is too big for me <laughs> i'm just this tall um it was just a lot it was just really just a lot i was overwhelmed i was going through a lot i felt like i wasn't getting anywhere you know i felt like i was trying everything and i wasn't getting anywhere and there's a few people who told me that i haven't tried it all you know what i mean um but everybody's situation is different and what works for some people may not work for other people and it wasn't working for me it wasn't working for me it wasn't working for me it's not what i wanted to do it's not what i wanted where i wanted to be and so we moved and it was hard for a lot of my friends and a lot of my family to digest that. Well, I feel like my family was a little bit more supportive, um, especially because I have a lot of family in different states and stuff. So I feel like they understood for the most part, you know. But for those who didn't, it, it was it, it was hard for them to digest. And I had to sacrifice that because it's me or you. You know what I mean? And 
I was tired of being comfortable, but being uncomfortable. And that's how I felt. That's, I'm um, honest to God, that's exactly how I felt. And so I dipped on them. <laughs> I dipped on New York. I love it. That's my city. You know, I'm from the Bronx. Love it. But no, I had to go. And so it was a lot of sacrificing for me. And I don't, I never shared with my family how hard it was when I first moved here because, um, a few of my family members had passed away and I was kind of just dealing with that and a few emergencies had happened this is the thing you could plan all you want but the universe has its way of doing whatever it wants to do you know so at the time I had a job when I came here I had a job I had a car I had a home the day I was supposed to move the cops went crazy tried to take my car <laughs> And a few other things, you know what I mean? Um, which kind of messed up my whole moving process because I was supposed to move and start my job at a certain time, which um, pushed back the date for my job, which ended up making me lose my job. So when I ended up moving here, I ended up getting my car back, but then I had no job. And I didn't work for a full month. Um, and I was just basically living off my savings and whatever my man was bringing home, which was good. We were able to maintain for like a month or two, you know what I mean? But God damn, when you first move into some place and when you're like fresh, 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 and you don't have nothing and you're already started from zero, your savings go like this, like water, because you need so much stuff. You know what I mean? And it was only one other than what we had saved it was literally only one person bringing in money in the house so you could imagine how that was and then it was just like i'm home i couldn't do nothing because i was home we had one car my boyfriend needed the car because he was going to work because what i what like you know what i mean and i'm far away from home and i'm just home applying to jobs going to job interviews and the pay here is different than over there. And I had expectations. So I wasn't taking anything less than what I was already making over there. So it was kind of difficult for me because people wasn't willing to pay certain a certain amount of money because it wasn't in their company budget. And I wasn't willing to settle for that. You know, and it's just like, you're not working. Like, and I, I don't know how to not work I don't know how to just relax and do nothing like that's not in my bloodstream that's not me like I'm a hustler that's what I do I have to get it by all means I have to wake up every day and do something and so that transition was just crazy you know what I mean but I say that basically to say this you need to be prepared you know what I mean you need to plan you need to come up with the goal you need to come up you need to know what it is that you want because the universe is always going to shift its energy. The universe is going to do whatever it wants to do. You can plan all you want and sometimes it won't even go according to as planned. But one thing I've learned is that when you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Because no matter how much I plan, no matter how much money I had saved up, and it held it held me down. I got my shit together. We were good. We were great. We ate. We had, you know, we were able to pay the rent. We had clothes on our back. I was able to get my pads for my period when I needed them. Because things like that, like you go through the struggle and sometimes you don't have. And you don't know what people don't have. You know what I mean? But... God blessed me and we were able to have more than enough for what it was that we needed. You know what I mean? But that's because we planned. We planned everything. This is where I want to live. This is how much my rent is. This is how much money I need. This is where I want to move. This is how much it costs to move. This is how I'm going to move. This is the type of job I want this is how much I want them to pay me this is where I want to work this is what I want to do this is the type of car I want this is the type of this is how much my car costs this is where I'm gonna get my car from this is how I'm gonna get my car like man down to the very nitty 
gritty detail of everything you have to know what it is that you want you have to know what it is that you're looking for because when you're oblivious you're just floating around in an airspace bubble taking up exactly that air and space and you don't want to do that because every day is a fresh new start and every day it's something new that you can accomplish but if you don't know what that is then you're just wasting another day and so with that being said with this year i just want you to open your eyes and open your ears and open your mind to all the possibilities of who you are and the full capacity of what you can reach and just sit down and have a conversation with yourself like what is it that i want to do what is it that i want to accomplish where is it that i want to be you know, I sit down and I think all the time, like, five years from now, what am I going to do? This year, what am I going to accomplish? This year, what am I going to do? And I just be sitting down and I just think about it and write it down. Write it down because things change every single day. And sometimes you'll remember, but sometimes you don't remember to the exact T. And when you write it down, you can always go back. And when you forget, you remind yourself. You know what I mean? So this year, I just I just want you guys to see 2020. I want you guys to hear everything going on around you. I want you guys to know what's going on inside and outside. You know, and I also want you to be understanding. I want you to understand your situation and I want you to understand others. Because honestly, like... If you haven't been paying attention to the things going on around us, like, this world is getting colder. This world is getting meaner. And honestly, I wish I could understand why. And I don't think I will ever understand why. But one thing that I noticed within myself, when I focus too much on the negative things or on the things that I don't have or on the things that have hurt me, it's hard for you to move on it's hard for you to grow it's hard for you to push forward but when you focus on the positive and when you count your blessings you get blessed so this year i just want you guys to just do that there's so many negative things going around there's so many negative things that you hear there's so many negative things that you see it's like it's so much negativity around you why do you have to constantly remind yourself of, of, of all the negative things around if you already see it and if you already hear it do yourself something positive you know and count your blessings speak goodness into the air thank somebody for random things thank yourself for random things and just be grateful and put that positive energy into the world. And I promise you that when you do that for yourself, your surroundings change because then the people around you start doing that. You become that good version of yourself and you have that good habit and it becomes kind of, I wouldn't say poisonous, but I know that that's not even the word that I'm looking for. But instead of creating a bad habit, create a good one. So with that being said, I... We'll see you throughout the year. Um, I really want to push myself to make two videos a week instead of one video a week. I want to really push myself to curse less. I want to push myself to exercise more. Guys, can you believe that I'm paying for a gym membership and I have not gone to the gym? That's crazy. That's undeserved. So this year, like, I need to get it together with certain things. Whatever I'm letting slip, I'm basically just going to try to catch. And I just hope that you pretty much do the same. And another thing, basically, to just end this video. One, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should. Two, if you haven't turned on your post notification, you're still in 2019. And three, I have a few set of rules for y'all, right? So one, if you're not already following my Instagram at the less little, which I'm going to have actually written down for you right here, then you should because I have a giveaway, which I'm about to announce right now. And in order for you to enter the giveaway, you have to do these few things that I'm basically going to tell you guys right now. So rule number one. You have to be following my Instagram at the Little, right? Number two, you have to be subscribed to my blog. 
I'm gonna also have all of this in the description down below and my blog is leslittle-dlittlethings.com this year I'm gonna try to write a little bit more I have been having writer's blog and then there's just certain things that I debate about that I want to write but I feel like I'm not ready to put that type of content out there so I just have to like have a sit down with myself and figure out what's going on with my blog but the blog is there and you guys have to read up and you guys have to catch up because I am gonna start you know posting there and writing more and just getting more in tune with my feelings with my thoughts and all that good stuff so I will know if you're subscribed to my blog because it asks you to put down your email so okay that's another thing also the third one in order for you to enter this giveaway you have to comment your thoughts to one of my youtube videos i would prefer hmm. oh you know what we're gonna do yes you have to comment your thoughts to one of my youtube videos but actually comment your thoughts to this video what i want you guys to do we're gonna flip this I'm, honestly, I just came up with this idea right now. What I want you to do is write in the comments below what's something this year you want to work on internally for yourself. So comment that down below because the way I'm going to choose the winners is going to be by the comments in my video. It's going to be a random comment selection. So in order for you to enter this giveaway, you have to do all these rules, but most importantly, you definitely have to leave a comment in this video, on this video down below basically stating what's something internally that you want to work on yourself this year 2020 you must be subscribed to my channel like that's clearly obvious you're not winning if you're not subscribed and if you think that you're slick and you're going to subscribe right away you're not going to win because i'm going to know and i'm going to ask proof of subscription um so that's basically what it is Follow my Instagram, subscribe to my blog, comment what it is that you want to work on this year on yourself under this video right here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will find you. I will know who you are. So, I think that's pretty much all the rules for my giveaway. I am giving out AirPods. So, these are the AirPods that I'm basically giving out for the giveaway. And I actually went ahead, excuse me, y'all, and I got you an AirPod case from Bougie Petite. She's a newly black-owned business. She literally just opened her website, like, I want to say a week or two ago. So, support black business. I got this case from her. Um, they're so cute. I'm going to have her, her information on the description down below, too. So, you actually get a nice little Louis Vuitton case to put your airpods in and it does charge your airpods it has a place where you can charge your airpods and everything you put your airpods inside and you can just flip it open and close so shout outs to bougie fatigue for this pretty freaking adorable case and you'll win the case and some airpods so make sure that you have those rules and may the best winner win see ya